Today we are exploring this car graveyard and find some incredibly rare cars. Oh my God. MG ZTT. This is a Range Rover Overfinch. Fabia VRS. Oh my God, is that what I think it is? I'm joined again with Steve and today we've come to have a look at an incredible car graveyard apparently there's some really cool cars here let's go and check it out see what we can find okay guys so the first car we're going to look at today is this Range Rover now it's quite clear that this has been parked here for a very long time the wheels are all flat the actual wheels are starting to sink into the mud as well but overall it doesn't look too bad it's a bit of a bent wing there squeeze from here and see if the door's open oh yeah the door is open so what I'm going to try and do now is show you guys in there now before I open this door just look at the spider web which is formed on the door and the steering wheel this door hasn't been opened in years I'm not going to open it too far if I can squeeze the camera through there we go so the mileage is 141,000 I reckon it could be saved, to be honest. It doesn't look too bad. I've seen a lot worse before. All right, shut the door back up on that. Let's see if we can, uh, I'm not going back that way because there's too many trees blocking the way. I'm gonna go around this side. Ugh. Walk around the back of this tree. We should be able to see the back of the car. Some garden furniture here, completely overgrown. There's even a little garden shed there. I don't even see that. So here's the back of the car. Oh, it's a road, the FI, Jesus. So they're very desirable cars now. They're, they're actually worth, in good condition, quite a lot of money. Mm, I can see some signs of, uh, oh, yeah, that doesn't look good, does it? Actually, looking at it from here, the chassis looks quite bad. Maybe they would be past his sell by date. It actually looks as if the, the bottom of the doors here have been hand painted. I think they have. But nevertheless, like I said, you know, I've seen worse. I've seen a lot worse. Whew, I'll tell you what, it's really hot today. Oh, right, let's have a little walk around and see what other cars we've got here. Because it does appear to be quite a few. Not hundreds, but enough. So Steve's gone over the other side, I think. Just so we're not both filming the same thing at the same time. Oh, he's there, he's fighting the life out of me. <laughs> I'm gonna run past you quick, Steve. So here we've got a motorhome, that's really cool. Look at that, tax this, ran out in 2012. And just in front of the motorhome, we've got an unusual front end what has that come from i'm not 100 percent sure if any of you guys know what car this has come from please pop it in the comments below there is a little xr logo on the light there 
Uh, yeah, not 100% sure on that. Let's have a little peek through here. Can we see inside? Mm, not really. I doubt it's going to be open. Oh, it's closed. It's quite difficult to see inside in there. It's pretty cool though. This one looks like it's open. It is open. Wow, look at the mould in there. Jeez. God, it stinks as well. Whew. Do you know what? Like, it probably could be safe, to be fair. It's, um, it probably looks worse than what it is. Yeah, it doesn't smell good, that. There is absolutely no way that is what I think it is. If that is an overfinch, I think it is. It is. It's got overfinch wheels on it. This can't be an overfinch. It can't be a real one. Do you know what? I'm getting really excited now. I can see an overfinch badge. And it's, oh, I think this is. This is a genuine overfinch. Is it open? Please be open. Yes. Oh my God. This is a genuine Range Rover overfinch. 66,000 miles. Are you kidding me? This is absolutely madness. Oh my God. I cannot believe this. Oh, look at the roof line and it's all sagged down. It looks horrible. Oh my God. This is incredible. Okay, so there is a chance it could have overfinch parts on it. The real, well, it should have a plaque under the bonnet. If this is a real one, it should have a plaque to say that it's an overfinch and it is open. Oh my God. I'm going to put money down that this is a real one. Now, it has got a private plate on it. I won't show you all of it, but, um, oh my God. Okay, you ready? Yeah, look at that, genuine overfinch. Oh my God. So it's got the V8, yep, yeah, this is a real Range Rover overfinch. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Well, that sounds nice. Possibly an Audi TT or something. Oh my God. This is absolutely crazy. I know I keep saying it, but oh my God, this is, this is just madness. How the hell does somebody leave one of these here? I mean, even when this was parked up, this is probably worth a few quid, you know? Look at that, the tax disc ran out in 2011. And even back then it was 205 pounds. Oh my God. So it's got a little bit of damage on this side. Nothing too serious, but I mean, that would be, that would be worth saving. That needs to be saved. Come on guys. That really does need to be saved. I cannot believe I've just found that here. Oh. Now, obviously we've got these cars here, but there is something over there, which I'm gonna to save till last. There's like a little makeshift shed. And um, when I came in and looked over, I saw something sticking out the front and I think I know what it is. So I um, cannot wait to see that. Now this looks like a rear quarter of a Range Rover and there's another one just there. So um, I don't know, maybe they were meant for that. I don't know. I really don't know. But they look, well, there's no rot on them anywhere. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> there is a little bit there. There is a little bit. But generally, I mean, look at the wheel arches. Look at the seals. They're, they're not bad, you know. Definitely a good donor. So that, I think, is a MGZTT. Pretty sure it is. 190 horsepower, I think, these were. Yeah, it is. Look, it even says it on the back. Again. A desirable car you know they're quite cool i like those is it open i think it is pins up yep oh look at that do you know what i quite like this i'd have that as a daily i would so they've got a fast speed gearbox though that's a bit disappointing but then i suppose it is quite an old car now so That has been open for a good three or four years at least. Maybe more, <laughs> looking at the state of it. Wow. Do you know what? I mean, most of these cars would probably just wash up. 
serviced, new discs, maybe some new tyres here and there. Job done. That is a garage. I know exactly what it is because I had to move one of those for my friends years ago. That is a little um, build-it-yourself garage. Quite good they are. Now I've kind of missed the Skoda which is parked in the middle here. So we'll have a look at that quickly. Now this is a Skoda Fabia VRS. Oh, bonnet's open, it's really heavy. Um, cool little cars. Yeah, they're good engines they are. Really good engines. Good on fuel, quite pokey. And it doesn't look too bad inside. It is locked, can't, can't show you. But look at that, it's still got the owner's manual on the passenger seat. Interior looks really clean. Not the most desirable colour, I'll be honest. But, um, cool, very cool little car. Again, it's been parked there for years. Look at the state of the disc, it has been moved for a long time. Really long time. So just over here, we've got a full focus. I get the feeling this guy was some sort of a car, I don't know, collector, saver, mechanic. I'm not 100% sure, but um, so most of these cars look like they were actually project cars. They've all got something that looks as if they need doing on them. Oh, this one's open as well. See, that doesn't look too bad in there. Doesn't look too bad at all, that. Again, I'd have that as a daily. Good cars, good on fuel, quite pokey, comfy. It's got everything you need, isn't it? Now, just here, we've got a BMW X3. Three litre injection. Is it open? Nope, it's closed. So, can't see the mileage because it's obviously all digital. But I'm pretty sure this had the six cylinder. If it's a three litre, it should have the six cylinder petrol engine. Um, same as the E46. Had loads of those. Good cars they are. Again, not too bad on fuel. Very pokey. Sound lovely. Um, yeah. I mean, that could definitely be safe. Let's face it. There's hardly anything wrong with that looking at it from here. You see, it hasn't been moved for a long time. Just like all the other cars here. And just here we've got a little... Looks like an old trailer or a cabin of some sort. I don't want to go too far in here because I don't think it feels very safe. But this looks like it could have been the workshop. In fact, I'll put money on it. This was the workshop. Got a go-kart there. Minus everything. <laughs> but it, just, it does seem to be that the, the guy who lived here has just literally taken the good stuff and left all the, the problems. You know, like I said, all these cars look as if they need work and he probably just thought, you know what, leave them. So here we've got a Mondeo ST, TDI. Someone's um, obviously not liked the owner at some point because they've decided to run a key up the side of it. Again, you know, it's not too bad. It'll clean up really nice. Comfy cars, good on fuel, quite pokey. Okay, so I have saved the best till last. Now, Steve's already over there setting his tripod up, but... Um, What's in there, it looks good from here, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. Before we go over there, I wanna have a quick look in here. So this looks like an old car transporting trailer. And it has actually got some interesting things in here. Um, probably the main one being this tire. Now, not 100% sure what that has come from. Maybe some kind of a race car or something. There's a split room there. Oh God, fuck the bloody life out of me. No, it's not, sorry. It's a, it's a trim for a, like a lorry wheel, I think. God, that's heavy. Really heavy. God, there's all sorts of stuff in there. We've got some seats there. What are they from? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. A couple of doors. They are Range Rover doors. A couple of rear seats. Partial shelf. There's some covers. Box of spares there. Ugh. What was that? <laughs> Got a rear light cluster from. Oh, what's that from? Peugeot. Is it Peugeot? Does it say? 
don't think it does. It looks like a Persia, I could be wrong. Guys, any of you know what that light cluster's from? Please pop it in the comments below. Okay, right, oh, it's really hot in there, let's get out. Oh, there's another one out there. A couple of wing mirrors still. I'm pretty sure that is a Peugeot wing mirror. I'm sure it is. Ah, uh, yuck. Oh, it stinks as well. Oh, I stink. <laughs> get out of here. Oh, okay, let's go and have a look over here. Okay, guys, so we have saved the best till last. I know what car that is. Some of you guys probably know what car that is. And I cannot believe it's in there. And I, I cannot wait to find out what else is in there. So I might save the white one till last because I'm super excited to know what's in here. Oh my God. That is a 205. Oh my God. What on earth? Oh my God. Okay, right. This is crazy. Okay, this is really crazy. This is a 205, obviously. Um, it looks super clean. The, I mean, where's the rot? There is no rot. I cannot believe how clean that car is. I really can't. Oh my God, that is madness. It's a five door as well, that's quite unusual. This is cool. I don't even know what this is, I'll be honest with you. I think it's some sort of a kit car. Um, no idea what car that is. It looks like it's rear-engined. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me right now? It's got a Honda VTEC engine. That must be rapid. That must be so fast. Oh my God, I, I cannot believe that has got a Honda VTEC engine in it. Do you know what, that has been done really well. All the manifolds heat wrapped. That thing must absolutely fly. I can't believe somebody would just leave that in here. Jesus. Oh my God, I cannot get over that. I've kind of stepped away from the 205 because VTEC powered kit car, that is just, <laughs> it's madness. Absolutely madness. Is the door open on? Yes, it is. Let's have a little peek inside. Oh, guys, look how clean this is. A genuine 66,000 miles on the clock. Looks like we've had some mice in there. They've made a mess of the car ball, but thankfully they haven't destroyed the seats or the carpet. Wow. And do you know what? actually smells really clean in there could be the wd-40 maybe the wd 40s leaked out the can but it actually smells really clean that is crazy i still can't get over this i mean wow just wow look at that it's got a 9000 rpm red line <laughs> oh do you know what that must be so much fun to drive. I mean, the engine is literally there. The seat would be there. You're literally on the back of the engine. You must be able to feel every little rattle bump. Oh, I just can't imagine how much fun that car is to drive. It's not the prettiest of cars. I'll be honest, it's not the prettiest of cars, but it is cool. It is really, really cool. <laughs> wow, can't get over that. So, behind the Persia, we have a little quad bike. That's pretty cool. Looks like everything's still there. Probably wouldn't take much to get that started, to be honest. Battery's been disconnected. Imagine if it went. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think it would. It's um, even the steering seized. Unless it's got a steering lock, I don't think it has. Now, behind the quad bike, I think that's a Westfield kit car. I'm pretty sure that's a Westfield. We can get to it. Sorry about the road noise, we are quite close to a main road where we are. Uh, it looks like a Pinto engine from a Ford. 
maybe a Sierra or something. I think most of these kit cars were Sierra based back in the day. Um, is there a reg on there? There is a reg. C463 YFK. That's a shame, there's a lot of overspray on the bottom of that radiator. It looks as if it was having some bodywork done. But again, it's, it's crazy how it's just been left here. seats in it too. It's still got steering wheel fitted. Yeah, the seats are still there. Bonnet's still there. I think it is all pretty much there to be honest. Now, I actually used to have an MK Indy Blade, which is basically the same as this, but it had a Honda Fireblade bike engine, one back, five forward, no reverse gear, but probably one of the most fun cars I've ever owned. Drove it to the Nürburgring, done two laps round, it was phenomenal. Oh, that bee's back again. Oh, Steve, you're coming at the worst time. There's a bumblebee in here and he's trying to attack me. <laughs> he literally is following me everywhere. Oh, oh, they're supposed to be, but I think I've pissed him off. <laughs> I've let him out twice and he keeps coming back in. He probably likes you. Maybe. Sorry little dude, I've got no honey for you. He's quite a big boy as well, that one. Do they sting? Do they sting? Yeah, they do sting. Yeah. Only when they're threatened though. Most of the time they're fine. But um, yeah, a little bit wary about that one. Wasps are, yeah, they're bad. They're, they're, there's no point for them. You know, they're, they're, just, they're just here to cause trouble. Yeah, absolutely. Devil fly. This is amazing. This is like oh, this bloody bee. Go away, leave me alone. Ah! <laughs> leave me be. <laughs> Sorry, yes, yeah, so I was saying this is an epic find. This Porsche, which I've actually saved till last, is probably the most valuable car in here because it's an S. It is an extremely rare model, very, very desirable model. Six cylinder engine, honestly, I, I don't know how much it's worth, but definitely the most valuable car in here. And I can't believe it's been left in here. Yeah, covered in dust. And it is a genuine S model, I'm sure it is. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. It's, I mean, there is no rot on the car anywhere. It's been in here for years. Yeah, it is locked, so I can't. Well, wow, there's... We have to save this car, dude. I'd love to, I really would. I mean, you'd have to try and find the owner. Whoever owns the land owns the cars. So, I mean, clearly he's not that into them anymore because all of these cars have been here for years. No one's touched them. It's really like a certain law, like over a certain period of time, you can claim something. Probably not. There are areas where you can, yeah, it is possible, but I mean, legally, these cars do still belong to somebody somewhere. So you can't really just come up and apply for a logbook, you know. If they pass away, there's nobody to take the cars on. Potentially, there's an area where you could apply for the V5. But um, you've still got to come onto private land. And it's honestly, it's a bag of worms. It really is. So, um, yeah, I don't ever get involved in that sort of situation. I only ever get a car if I can actually buy it off someone because um, I can't be doing with all the headaches. Okay, so let's have a little peek under the bonnet. I'm sure it's open. Look at that beautiful six cylinder engine. Wow. Not too sure about the air filter, I'll be honest. It's not even a genuine K&N or anything. It literally is just a 10 pound eBay air filter. Nothing special at all. But the car looks so clean. Like I said before, there's no rot on this car like the others in here. Madness, absolutely madness. I mean, this car's got to be worth what 10, 20, I don't know. I mean, this would make a great barn time recovery video, it really would. And you really wouldn't even have to do that much work to get it back on the road looking at it. The brakes look pretty seized, they haven't been round for a long time. But my goodness me, now I'm pretty sure this driver door is going to be closed. Oh. I mean, who leans up that on the side of a 924S? Honestly, it's like, it's criminal almost. 
Now I'm just going to try the door. I have to bear with me because I have to hold the wood as well. No, the driver's door is locked, so sadly, I can't show you guys in there. We're not going to be able to see the mileage, I don't think. I don't really want to clean the window off because I like to leave things as I find them. But, oh, there was a bit of a crack in that dashboard there. I don't know if you can see that. There's quite a few actually all the way along. So it definitely would need a new dashboard. But nevertheless, what a find. I mean, just these four cars alone, you know, it's, it's worth a video. And the stuff outside, that Overfinch Range Rover, oh my God, I cannot believe that's there. And that's some really, really nice cars here, guys. Right, we're gonna um, run around, do our pictures, do the Instagram stories, everything else, and then I'll catch you guys in a minute. Right guys, we are all done. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explorer underscore, and also go and check out the Facebook page. Like always, all the pictures on Facebook, 10 of the best on Instagram. I will link Steve in the description below, and we'll see you on the next video soon. Way to get rid of a bee because a V Peck Tower. Just here we've got a. Oh, you the hell happened there?